Preparation is everything when it comes to emergencies as a first responder. They never know every detail when heading to a call, so they rely heavily on hours of training for countless scenarios. Crawford County first responders getting an opportunity tonight to practice a rare but serious emergency. Matt Mathias joining us now in the studio with more on this. Matt. Sean, it's an opportunity Crawford County first responders don't often get. A chance to safely practice an aircraft accident. Report me, Bill. Helicopter crash on the tunnel pad with fire. The second that call goes out, it's all hands on deck for Crawford County first responders. Thankfully, that helicopter crash Monday night was a drill, but emergency crews treated the scene as they would if it were real. It's a rare emergency to see, so when resources came available to host a hands-on training at the Port Meadville Airport, the Crawford County Department of Public Safety jumped on the opportunity. 2011 is when we did uh, a full-scale exercise with training, uh, so to do it again in 2023 has been a great hands-on experience uh, for public safety to be able to actually lay the hose, flow water, uh, uh, flow foam and to really um, practice responding to uh, an aircraft emergency here at the airport. A metal helicopter shaped prop was the center of the action. It was filled with propane and lit from afar. Two practice dummies were on the ground waiting to be rescued from the scene by responders. While practicing throughout Monday night, first responders were given a chance several times as the helicopter was relit and then put out again. It wasn't just a learning experience for the responders, but also young people watching from a distance. A teenager in the Civil Air Patrol hoping to specialize in search and rescue missions someday says the demonstration was eye-opening. Once the fire starts, you got to get her as fast as you can to put it out or else it's not going to last and nobody's going to survive. His mother says it was a good way to show that fires operate differently and water sometimes isn't the answer in situations like this. Water would spread the fire, the foam keeps it, and puts it out and smothers it. So just even being part of this as a mom, you know, and knowing some stuff that they don't know yet, it made me kind of feel good. Now, funding for this training is being paid for by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security through the Northwestern Pennsylvania Emergency Response Group.